This video is brought to you by Stockagogo.com Stock Photos. Live from WRTV Indianapolis, your exclusive new star station. Greg Todd, meteorologist David James, and Kevin Madden Sports. This is Channel 6 News. Those storms that came through last night gave us some rain we really needed, but I was also hoping it'd cool things off a bit, Dave. Didn't really change too much, although yesterday it was 95, was a little bit better than that today. Checking outside right now, it's 10 degrees at least better than that, 85 degrees, partly cloudy skies. There's a northeast wind at 8 miles per hour, and the humidity, well, it's up there. It's at 60 percent, but with a little bit less uh, temperature, that's a little bit better uh, situation this afternoon. Other information for today, low temperature this morning was 69, up to uh, 87 for the high so far today, and uh, no precipitation after midnight last night, but we did get 34 hundredths of an inch here at the station. A little bit more out at the airport, they got almost three quarters of an inch there. Taking a look at the situation over uh, Indiana right now, we have over our state, so, well, there's a few clouds out there, but those are more or less departing out of Indiana. But there's another weather system out here to the west, mainly up in the north uh, part of northern part of Illinois, down through the western part of Illinois, and in Missouri. And you can tell which part of those area of clouds is a little bit more active. Some big thunderstorms going in the southern part of Missouri. And in fact, out ahead of this area of clouds, there is a severe thunderstorm watch out till 9 o'clock. The extent of those uh, showers and thunder showers, we can look at those a little bit more uh, significantly as far as the radar goes. That's the yellow and red colors showing up there. Right now, it looks like they'll move just about straight to the east. So that will be putting them into the southern part of Indiana maybe later on tonight. If under that other area of clouds, a few more widely scattered showers could be developing, and that could move into Indiana, but I'd only give us about, oh, maybe a 20 or 30 percent chance that we would see some showers develop in Illinois and move into central Indiana, should be mainly to the south of it. Well, back to the bigger picture around the rest of the United States, you can see quite a bit of sunshine over Indiana, a little trailing edge of some clouds that will be moving to the east. The weather pattern, well, it seems to be favorably stuck in a pattern right now that's providing a few scattered showers over the southeast part of the United States and up along the east coast, uh, some needed rain along that region. That's been the case for the past couple days. That weather system that's out to the west of us, a little trough in the atmosphere that will be moving through our area, mainly for us just a few clouds tonight. There isn't much in the way of any really cooler air except behind this area of clouds that's far up to the north, and we won't see that for a few days. Taking a look at the weather system, uh, the reason temperatures dropped about 10 degrees today, there was a weak cool front that did move through Indiana last night and kicked up those uh, showers and thunder showers, caused some wind damage as the small line of thunderstorms moved through our state. That's being pushed along ahead of the cool front right now. High pressure center, not going to stay around too long. That's moving out of the Great Lakes, headed towards the eastern part of the United States. Since that's moving along, the warm, humid air that's out here in the Plain State will be moving back into Indiana. And so temperatures will not increase too much more tomorrow, but it probably will be a little bit more humid. Next weather maker will be when this uh, cool front finally moves back through Indiana. So that will be probably tomorrow night or early Monday morning. Then we'll have the best chance of getting our next possibility of any rain. Tomorrow in the afternoon hours, high pressure center will just be reflected by the wind flow pattern turning around from southeast in Indiana. So that'll start to warm things up a little bit. The warm, humid air is ready to move into Indiana, and as this warm front pivots up through Indiana tomorrow uh, evening or nighttime hours, then a possibility of some rain. After the rain, things will warm up once again. So my forecast the rest of tonight, we'll see a mixture of some stars and clouds out there. There's just a chance of rain here in the central part of Indiana, but it's uh, fairly likely in the southern part of the state. Some thunderstorms could be a little bit heavy uh, along the Ohio River, down to 68 degrees in the morning. Then during the day tomorrow, a mixture of clouds and some sunshine. Winds will be out of the southeast tomorrow. Again, there'll be more about a 20 or 30 percent chance of rain in the afternoon, 86 degrees in the afternoon. During the day on Monday, then it looks like the next weather system will be here, and so more humidity and a very good likelihood of some showers during the day on Monday. But I guess we don't really want to go as long a streak as we had the past couple weeks without any rain, so no. that'll be the situation. All right, thanks, Dave. 